why not learn a thing or two with a trip to New Concord? We have David who's taking us on a one tank trip. So let's take a look and check it out. This one is packed with Wild West adventures that go all the way to outer space. We're going to thank Zane Gray and John Glenn for this one. It's a one tank trip. American hero John Glenn, the first American to orbit the Earth, grew up in this house, which is now a museum in New Concord, Ohio. The first floor of our museum is actually built to be a fully immersive, so it's living history. When you come in for a tour, there will be an actress who will come and guide you through as if it is 1927, 44, or 62. We switch that time period out, but everything is time period accurate with a few pieces that were actually John and his family's. Um, whereas the upper floor, which were the renter's rooms back in the day, um, now has John's bedroom, a gallery completely dedicated to Annie, um, a gallery about his life here in New Concord and his military career, and a gallery all about his stardom, his fame, um, and orbiting. The house has many interesting artifacts on display, including his mom's sewing rocker, her African violet stand next to the window, along with the first thing John ever bought with his own money, two figurines for Mother's Day. Plus, there's the suit that he changed into once he splashed down after his world-famous trek into space. There is also a face shield where our little village of New Concord, who not only sent John into space, we also had the manufacturer of all the face shields for the Friendship 7. So, yeah, something you would never know. Uh, I like to call it our hidden gallery because it's just in a quirk of our um, anatomy being built the way that we were. But it's, it's a fun little story. And the town of New Concord is very fond of this famous citizen. So there's John Glenn High School, uh, which when it opened, they wanted to dedicate something to him. Um, and so that is the high school there. And then there's also John Glenn Gym at Muskegon uh, campus. That building was already there. Um, John actually did quite a few things, like he announced running for senator um, and running for president uh, in that gym. Just down the road is the National Road and Zane Gray Museum. There is a diorama that I believe is 50 feet long and it chronicles not only through time, like you start back when they first started the Zane Trace all the way through to modern day technology of the National Road, uh, but it also goes along the National Road. So you'll start in Maryland and you'll end in Illinois. Zane Gray is the father of the modern Western. Uh, so he was born here in Zanesville and we have a replica of his study that he wrote in. New Concord, Ohio is filled with fascinating early American history. And best of all, it's just a one tank trip away. David Moss, Fox 8 News. The John and Annie Glenn Museum is just an eight minute drive from the National Road and Zane Gray Museum. And if you're wondering if you're traveling from Cleveland, New Concord is just about a two hour drive south.